Ahead of the National Executive Council meeting of the People's Democratic Party on Thursday, April 18, a major power blocks and stakeholders have begun to realign in a bid to take firm control of the party structure. AIT's Chikodina Kadili in this report examines the issues of what may be a make or mar meeting for the major opposition party. To the people. Like a game of chess, Nigeria's main opposition party, the PDP, is enmeshed in another crisis, a crisis that has festered prior to the 2023 general elections and afterwards. The party currently has no substantive national chairman, and many believe the man who is acting is pandering to the influential individual interests instead of the party itself. The contending power blocks remain those aligned to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Wiki, and those aligned with the 2023 presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. <laughs> with several cards on the table, the long awaited party national executive council is of high importance and will touch on sensitive issues bordering on the 2023 election and the agitation over the replacement of the ousted national chairman, Senator Iocha Ayu. Dr. Iocha Ayu, be persuaded to withdraw his legal appeal to enable the party to move forward, in which case, the party now will be free to get somebody appointed from North Central to serve out the tenure. And the tenure that we're talking about here is about one, one, two years, less than two years. And then the party, as an organized body, will sit down and say, hey, do we continue to maintain North Central as the zone to produce the national chairman, or do we take it to another zone? That is a reasonable thing to do. And quite frankly, I, I can assure you that if we go the trajectory that we are going now, without any definable direction, without any reasonable direction, it is going to hurt the party and even the interests that will represent more. I know that there are undercurrents going on, but I want to borrow your word to say that one person is not a party. One individual is not a party. What is a party is me, you, him, and that. And the only opposition we have that is varying Nigeria today is PDP with 13 governors. So it is in our interest. If you subsume our interests and allow people to execute their own personal agendas, then we'll be in for it. Another possible subject before the PDP neck is enforcing discipline in the party and the need to mend possible cracks and power shifts within the governors and all the prominent leaders of the party. Invite the person, talk with him, let him defend himself or herself, and then you can take action. And the people who, what the party said that, people who will be in this disciplinary committee must be people of proven integrity. You are not just going to pick uh, people who will be biased or people who have no integrity to put them in that committee. That committee, once it's activated, any place, any time, any person is accused of breaching or acting against the party, that committee at that level, if it is the national level, they will, they will invite the person. If they are zonal level, they will, if they are state, local government, world level. So we are supposed to constitute committees whether those committees are in, that, are in place, nobody knows. As a major stakeholder in the party, I will tell you that I don't know whether there's a discipline committee in, in any, uh, at any level of the party. Thursday's April 18 neck meeting will serve as a deciding moment for the PDP. The party's leader's ability to hold sway and ensuring the neck reaches a firm resolution despite obvious interest from contending groups is likely to determine the PDP's influence as an opposition party. Chikodinaka Dili, AIT News, Abuja.